how to create your WordPress website into a mobile application. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm going to be telling you how you can create your own WordPress website into a, a mobile app. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So as you can see, I'm onto this platform right here called appmysite.com. And this is a pretty amazing app. So what it will do is it will convert our website and it will create an app for us. So let's get started so over here as you can see we have a bunch of different options but we're going to go ahead and straight up jump into it simply click on get started for free and it's going to take you over to this page where you just simply have to log in so enter in your username your email address and your profession a password and after that just simply click on create your account or you can just simply you know sign up with google or whatever i'm going to go ahead and sign up with google because it's a lot easier and once we've done that wait a couple of seconds for it to load up boom there you go now let's go ahead and click on build app and over here you just enter in your wordpress domain your cms and then you enter in your name so i'm going to go ahead and copy my url pretty long url that's because i'm using it for free i'm just simply going to go ahead and paste it over here yes it's wordpress my website uses woocommerce plugin yes and give your app a name so i'm just simply going to say wp app and just simply click on build the app wait for a couple of seconds and boom there we go now over here on the uh, right side as you can see we have the logo for our app it's a simple background with a text over it you can change it as well you can add like change the fonts the font size the color and stuff like that or you can upload your own logo as well so let's go ahead and upload it like over here we have a bunch of different logos i'm just simply going to choose this one Wait for a couple of seconds yes i'm gonna crop and save and boom there you go that's how our app is gonna look like so we're just simply gonna go back we like this one yes so we're just simply gonna click on next and once we do that we are good to go now it's gonna take us to the launch screen so this is like the launch screen of our app this is like the waiting or the loading screen so you can do this as well so you can upload your own like you know uh background image this is the standard background so of course that's how it looks like you can add like app logos over here this is like upload over here so you can upload it so let's go ahead and upload the same image that we uploaded as a location yeah we're gonna have to do something over here we're gonna go with that one click on crop and save you can see that's how it looks like and let's go ahead and change the color see if it matches over here it's a little bit brighter 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 almost there almost there we go i think you can still see a little bit of difference but you know i don't think it's too much right it's really really subtle but you can see the difference but i think it's good enough yeah it looks nice so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just simply click on next and now we are at the login and sign up page so this is how it looks like and i think this is a pretty standard you know login page yeah i think i like this we can keep it at that we can let's just simply you know change the fonts as well so right now it's popping semi bold uh, yeah i think that looks good we can even use it center or left or right however we want it we, let's go with left i think that looks much better we have the welcome text over here as you can see login or sign up and we have the pop-ins as well then we have the social you know over here we have the option to either be circle square or rectangle we choose rectangle that's how it looks like if we choose square yeah the circle one was pretty nice it looks cleaner that way then we have a bunch of other settings but i think everything looks good for the login and sign up page so i'm going to leave it at that and we're just simply going to click on next so as you can see i mean you must have noticed the entire process up to this point has been very very you know easy like it's standard everything is in front of us you don't have to do a lot of editing or coding or whatsoever just select a bunch of colors and stuff like that you know and boom there you go you're good to go so it's really simple it's really easy now over here we have like the color of our theme so we can go ahead and choose like a different color you know go with this one go with darker or black or whatever I'm gonna go back over here i'm just simply gonna copy this one the copy the code right here i'm gonna go back into the color theme i'm gonna paste it over here as you can see that's how it looks like yeah but since we can see the white text really good so we'll just darken it a little bit then we have the fonts over here i'm gonna go with poppins as well semi bold 
then we have the button color as well so for this one what should we do i think this looks good so we'll keep it at that no try purple as well no i think this was good i think we'll go with this color i think darker color would look much much better and once that's done we'll just simply click on next next is the home screen so this is our home screen so as you can see this is how it looks like it's really simple it's really easy we can navigate ourselves over here as well so now over here we have a bunch of different options so we have our header over here section color over here we have our main banner we can move it up and down we have our production catalog over here we have a sale products recently viewed product cards and many many more this is for the ios and this is for the android one let me just refresh it ah here we go so this is how it looks like on the android phone and this is how it looks like on the ios really similar nothing much to change the things that we can change are like uh, header option over here we have you know enable product search in header so yeah i want that enable post search in header i'll, I'll think the product is much better yeah and over here we'll just say welcome once that's done we'll close that up and then we have the color scheme of it you know we'll change some of the colors real quick We'll keep it at that and the overall color scheme should be black i think or you know something like this color to match over there and then we want this to be white and yeah blue looks good we're gonna match all of the other colors as well let me just give me a second real quick yeah i think that looks good next we want to add like colors over here yeah there we go there we go yeah now it looks much much better so then we have the blog settings over here as you can see this is how it looks like everything is brown we want circles circles look good so we'll keep it at that and then once we've done that we'll just simply click on next once you've edited everything to your liking and then what we want to do is we want to install plugins so log into your sites back in admin panel install and activate my app app my site plugin and then connect your website so let's go ahead and go to my site which is this over here let's go into plugin sections real quick and add new plugin i'm going to search for app my site here we go we're going to install now we're going to click on activate boom it's been activated now where is it here we go so now let's go into over here we already have that we've activated it now let's go ahead and go to my website yeah, i already have that okay so all you had to do was click on the verify button at the top and then you're good to go now what we can do is we want to you know grant the permission so just enter in your administration over here yeah and then just simply add in the uh, username or administrator and then application password and you are good to go so to do this all you have to do is enter in your administration username and the application password now to find the application password what you're going to do is you're going to go into your profile section over here and once you log into your wordpress account you're going to scroll down and over here you will see your application over here so just simply add in the application password and click on add new application password and you are good to go so your new password for this application is this so for that what you need to do is as you can see over here copy your username paste it below you must be an administrator navigate to application password on profile picture input app my site in the new application password name field click on add new application password button and copy your password and paste it over here so let's go ahead and do that i'm going to paste this over here and i'm going to click on add new application and this is my password for this application so i'm simply going to go ahead and copy this and i'm going to paste it over here and boom i'm just simply going to click on verify and after a couple of minutes boom there you go we have done it we are good to go this is basically like a preview so over here click to start you know and over here tap to go so just installing and this is how it looks like so it's really cool it's really nice so we're just going to click on allow yeah then we just simply add in the email to log in or sign up if we already have one if you don't we're good to go so we'll just go ahead and add in an email address click on continue and then we just enter in the password and we are good to go click on continue i guess i don't have a password but looks really really nice what about the android one see how that looks applications installing it's good to go so as you can see this is how it looks like this is the exact same website you know on my phone so that's how you basically create an application out of your website so 
thank you guys for watching and i hope you guys understood what i did here if you have any questions let me know in the comment sections down below and i'll be sure to answer them as soon as possible so having said that i'll catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye